Hi friends and welcome to today's class. Today's gonna to be a full body Pilates class. You will need a Pilates ball. I have a nine inch Pilates ball. I'm also going to be using some light dumbbells and I have my ankle weights, one pound each, attached to my ankles. You do not necessarily need the weights on your ankles and you also could actually do this without the dumbbells as well. I just find that I've gotten to my goals a lot faster when I add just a little extra weight. So completely your choice, but you will want to have a nine inch Pilates ball. All right, when you're ready, we'll go ahead and start at the back of the mat and just come to standing. Nice little neutral spine, tucking that tailbone under, relaxing the shoulders. Big breath in and exhale. Awesome. Inhale, the arms reach up and palms together, forward fold, fold it over. Roll it back up, chin to chest, arms reach back up, and coming right back down. Two more times. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, fold it down. One more, inhale, roll it up. And exhale, fold it down. Lovely. From here, we're going to go ahead and bend into the knees, walk your hands out to a high plank. And we're just going to rock back and forth on the toes, kind of pressing the heels back and then rocking it back forward. Core is nice and engaged here for three, two, and walk those hands up and back. Roll it all the way back up. Awesome. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms facing forward. Dive it down. So really round through that upper spine, tucking the belly in and walk it out. Now let's go ahead and come back to our downward facing dog. So hips up and back. And you can of course kind of pedal into this down dog. And then from here, we're going to inhale, lift that right leg and pulse it up for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and step it on the outside of the right hand. And then we're going to open up that right arm, bring that right hand back down, right leg goes back up to that down dog. Five pulses, four, three, two, one, bring it back to the outer right hand. Open up that right arm. Bring it down. Right leg goes back up. Five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Last one. Open up. And then bring that right hand down. And you can step back to your down dog. Very nice. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, inhale the left leg lifts. Five pulses, four, three, two, one. Step that foot on the outer left hand. Open up that left arm and then bring it back down. Left leg goes back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it on the outside. Open up that left arm, bring it down. Last one, go on up. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it down, open it up. And then you can bring that hand down and step back to your down dog. Very nice, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. And let's walk those hands back towards your feet. Roll it on up. Should be nice and warmed up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and grab the dumbbells for right now. All right. So first we're going to bring that right hand to our waist. Palm is facing up. Left arm goes straight up. And then the right leg is going to be pressed down 
with the heel towards the mat. So deep breath in, exhale, bring up both, and then press that heel back down. So coming to center, press it down. For six, five, take your time. Four, really engage your core as well. Three, two, and one, hold it up here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg lifted, open up that right arm, and it's a shoulder press. Lift and lower, lift and lower. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring those weights to heart center. And we're just going to send that leg back. I'm gonna turn at an angle so you can see. We're gonna send it back. Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna do five lunges here. For five, straighten. Four, squeeze that back glute. Three, two, hold it low and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it low. Eight, seven, six, five, shaking is good. Three, two and one hinge the chest forward so you're straightening through that back leg and then we're going to bring that back leg to a point and straighten back the weight is in that left leg keep that knee bent straighten back for six five four three two and one awesome straighten up Whew. all right you can shake out that left leg and we'll go ahead and do the other side so right arm straightens up left hand is facing up by your uh, waist and we'll go ahead and straighten through that left leg deep breath in exhale bring it all to center and straighten center straighten for six go at your own pace Five, four, use your core, three, two, hold it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and bring that left arm, shoulder press for eight, seven, Six, it really helps if you look in a mirror. Five, four, last three, two, and one. Now keeping that left leg lifted, bring the weights to heart center. We're gonna do that little step back. Let me step forward. <laughs> All right, so hinging forward, stepping back to a lunge for five. Four, three, two, pulls it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and straighten through that back leg. Gonna bring it in, just tap the toe and extend. In. Extend, bending into that right knee for six, five, four, three, two, last one. Very nice job, awesome. Go ahead and shake it out. And then let's go ahead and come to a little goddess pose. Knees are open wide. Heels are pressed in, toes even lifted up. Arches of the feet are lifted up. Weights are back at that waist. We're just gonna serve it forward and then out. 
forward and out for six, five, four, maybe go a little bit lower, three, two, last one, get nice and low, one, hold it here, pulse it out, eight, seven, six, five, you got this, I promise, four, three, two, and one, straighten through those legs, shake it out, very nice job, let's heel toe those feet in, they're going to be slightly under your hips, maybe a little bit more, just a few squats for eight, seven, six, five, Four. Send that booty back. Three, two, I have an eyelash in my eye. Pulse it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lift it up. So nice. Goodness, I don't know what is in my eye. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and put these weights down. Grab your Pilates ball. We're going to have some fun with the core. We're not here long today. Let's bring the ball underneath. Think about your, kind of your bra strap. Gentlemen, well, I should say halfway under your back. Straighten those legs out. And then melt over your ball. Deep breath in, arms are up overhead. And on the exhale, we're simply lifting and then kind of reaching forward. And then reaching those arms back up and then forward. Never lose connection with the ball though. Point the toes. Six. Five. Four. Three, you kind of want to be going slow enough to where you're shaking when you're coming up. Two, and then reach forward, lift that left leg, lower, right leg, lower, very nice. Left, lower, right, lower. For six, you got it. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Awesome. Go ahead and roll over the ball. Stretch that core out. Big breath in. And exhale. Very nice. One more in. And exhale. Very nice. You can go ahead and come on up. Just enough so you can take your ball from underneath you. And we're gonna place this ball in between our knees. Flex your feet. And then bring your hands behind your head. Interlace those fingers. Tabletop the legs, deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna lower the heels and bring them up. They don't have to tap the mat. Lower and lift. The main goal, you keep going, is to make sure that that back is flush on the mat. As soon as you start feeling yourself arching and there's a space in between, you need to lower your heels less. All right, for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that ball up, straighten through your legs, deep breath in. And on the exhale, bend into the knees, heels are together, flex the feet. We're going to extend, point, flex, bring it in. Extend, point, flex, bring it in. Very nice, for five, four, Three, 
two. Last one, hold it out and point. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower the feet with control. Very nice job. You can put the ball aside for just a second. Windshield wiper those knees side to side. Very nice job. Alrighty, let's go ahead and rock and roll. Take three rocks, hold on to the tops of your knees, up to a seat. All right, in this easy seat, keep some space between your ankles, place those left fingertips down, our right arm reaches up, bend into that left elbow, up to center, right fingertips are down, reach it over, bend into that right elbow. Very nice, one more, up and over, and last one. Up and over. Lovely. Go ahead and grab one of your weights. Come to standing on your knees. And we're going to extend that left leg out. We got the six pack abs. We got that deep abdominal core as well. Now it's time to get our obliques, which are some of my faves personally. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and extend those arms up overhead. Remember, you do not have to necessarily do this with a weight, but if you do, try not to squeeze your weight. Try to bring it just between your hands. Big breath in. Exhale over to the right and bring it up. Now the key as I always say, is to go slow. Everyone wants to go fast. Everyone wants to use momentum so they don't really feel what they're doing, but they kind of just let momentum carry them through and then they just feel good about it psychologically. So take your time if you really wanna build strength and stability. Last two. Last one, hold it over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it up. Very nice. Let's go ahead, bring that weight down for a second. Right fingertips are going to come to the mat. Left hand on your hip or your waist, and then we're just going to lift that left leg and lower. Lift and lower. For six, point that toe. Five. Four, three, two, try not to arch your back, hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, don't drop it. Four, three, two, bring it in. Very nice job. Let's grab the weight, go right onto the other side. So extend the right leg out, arms up, big breath in. Exhale, reach it over. I like to pause for a second when I come back up. Sorry, it's a little challenging to talk when I'm bent all the way over. Alrighty, for six, make sure you're reaching over and not back. Five, four, three, arms are straight. Two, hold it over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it up. Weight comes down, left fingertips come down, hand on your hip, your waist, and we're just lifting and lowering. Lift and lower. For six, come down slowly. Five, I don't care if you go up fast, just come down slow. Four, three, gravity is not in control. Two, hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it in. Very good job, you can shake it out. You can sit on your heels if you want. Maybe take some circles. Feels so good. 
Let's do a little bit of arms. Grab those dumbbells. You can stand on your knees. Hinge the chest slightly forward. Palms are facing forward. Core is still engaged. Core is always engaged. And we're just going to do some around the world. So up and circle it down. Up and bring it down. Down nice and slow with control for six. Exhaling as you lower. Five. Four. Three. Two. This is so great for your shoulders and your back. Ugh. Last one. Bring those weights to your hips. We're going to open and close. Open and close, kind of crisscrossing. Open and close for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna hold them out, open them up, circle it forward, eight, seven, six, no arching in the back, Four, three, two, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here, curl it in, extend and curl for six, five, slowly is key, four, three, two, and one, let's go ahead and bring those weights up behind your head. Some triceps, never hurt nobody. Extend up and lower, up and lower for six. Again, we're not arching the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them up and they're coming by your waist. Let's go ahead and extend it back, bring it in, back, bring it in. We're only stopping at the hips. We are not swinging it forward. No momentum for five, four, three, two, pulse it back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, pulse it in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now squeeze it up, eight, seven, six, five, almost there, three, two, and one, very nice job. Always come out of it with control, like you are not phased. Gravity is not in control, momentum is not in control. You are strong enough to do this, I promise. I always like to come out like I'm cool and collected, even if my body is on fire. <laughs> you still come out cool and collected. Alrighty, let's go ahead and um, put the weights down for a moment. Feel free to get a sip of water at any point in time. Also, I am, uh, I am known for forgetting to take a sip of water and take a break. You always can pause the video and take a sip of water and catch your breath. All right, let's go ahead and come on to our backs. This is one of my favorites for inner thighs. I'm gonna bring the ball not underneath our lower back, but not too far under our bum. So kind of right um, at the top of, how do I say your crack without saying your crack? Right at that little area is perfect. <laughs> All right, so hips go up and settle down onto it. We're gonna bring the arms out, palms out, and flat. Straighten those legs up, point your toes, take a deep breath in. And then we're going to open the legs, flex your feet, and then when you draw them back up, you're drawing your heels together, point. Very nice, so open, flex, draw it up, and point. Open, flex draw it up, point. You're also using your arms and your core here, of course, to stay balanced, up and point. 
for six. Five. Last four. You see how you get those ballerina legs. Three. Two. And on this last one, hold it out, flex your feet, pulse it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it up and cross, crisscross those legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now point the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. So nice. Take the ball from underneath you. Deep breath in. And an open mouth exhale. All right, I'll do a little tiny bit more core because we gotta, core is so important. Let's go ahead and bring the ball in between your knees and come onto your left forearm. Your ankles are stacked on top of each other, toes are pointed slightly at an angle back. We're going to lift those hips up and actually, you might need to adjust it. You need to bring those knees a little bit more in. There you go. All right, so we're just going to lower the hip and squeeze it up. Lower, squeeze for six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Grab that ball. And we're going to lift, arm is up over the head. We're gonna straighten that leg and point that toe down. Very nice. Straighten, point it down. For six, five, four, three, two, last one. One, very good job. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So coming to that forearm, balls in between the knees. Maybe walk those knees back a little bit, point your toes. And we're lifting up and lowering. Squeeze it up, lower. For six, five, Four, three, two, hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it down, grab the ball. I'm gonna bring my knees in just a little bit more. Lift the hips, arm is reached up over, deep breath in. Actually, sorry, I don't know why I was straightening my leg out. We're going to lift up and lower, up, and lower, five, four, three, two, last one. A very good job, you guys. You can hit those glutes. And the last thing I have for you is just a little plank and then we're gonna stretch it out and you'll be done. All right, let's come to a high plank and then we're gonna lower to a forearm plank. Promise you got this. Deep breath in and exhale. Come to that high plank, super nice. Roll onto your tiptoes, press through your palms. The bum is nice and low, core is super engaged. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now come to the forearms. You got this. Shaking is good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Relax it down. Untuck your toes. 
You can rest your forehead on your forearms. All right, we'll bring that right forearm down. Lift the left heel. Oh, let's go ahead and take our ankle weights off. Just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes I call them anklets, like they're jewelry. Sometimes I call them shackles. Who knows? <laughs> Depends on the day. All right. So coming on to our bellies. Right forearm is down. Left heel comes towards the glute. You can even rest your forehead on your forearm if you'd like. And then let's go ahead and switch. Go ahead and release, press up and back. And we're gonna come to a frog, a little bit more of a frog than a child's pose. So spread those knees nice and wide. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit. And you're gonna have some space between your feet. Now you don't have to flex your toes out for this frog. I don't wanna be too intense. So we're still gonna point the toes in, but just make sure that you have a good amount of space between your feet. You can come to your forearms and just kind of rock back and forth. Really let your belly kind of lead towards the mat. Very nice, we're gonna go ahead and rock up, bring those knees slightly in. And let's extend that left leg out, come onto the right knee. And then we're just going to, I might have to open it nice and wide actually, depending on your flexibility. Sink those hips back and then come back forward. Two more times back and forward. Last one, back and forward. Let's come to the other knee. Ooh, my little ashy knees from these mats. <laughs> All right, deep breath in and exhale, send it back and forward. You might hear my knee popping and back and forward one more time, back and forward. Very nice. You can bring both knees in together, palms are flat, and we're just going to sway our hips side to side. Glue those knees together. This should feel good on your lower back. Awesome, and then come to a child's pose. Bring the palms together. Fingers are spread apart, forehead is on the mat. And then we're gonna lift our fingers, our thumbs towards the nape of our neck, just stretching those triceps. Your palms are not gonna to stay together here, so it's just the tips of your fingers together and then slowly release roll it on up palms together to the forehead as a reminder of positive thoughts you've already done something so fantastic for yourself no one is con in control of this except for you unless you give them permission. Just remember that. Palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly to yourself, to your neighbor, to your spouse. And then palms to your heart as a reminder that you are valued, you are loved, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are handsome, you are worthy of good things, you are cared about, God sees you, God knows you, God loves you. And he has a plan for you, no matter what you think, you matter to him. One more breath in. Exhale, release it out. You can flutter your eyes open. God bless friends. 
great job today. If you made it all the way to the end, I cannot not give you an applause. This was a tough one. So congratulations. Great job. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.